All right, guys, let's talk about cyclic ketogenic diets again. Um, for those who don't know what it is, real quick, a cyclic ketogenic diet means basically you're keto, you know, high fat, moderate protein, very low carbs, and then every few days you go ahead and you uh, jump on carbs, like you have like a big, uh, basically a cheat day, okay? You uh, refeed your body, uh, fill your muscles, your liver, everything with glycogen. Um, and then you go ahead and you go back to just fat and uh, protein, okay? Um, reason why you would do this, um, I've never had this problem, okay, at all, but um, a lot of people have the problem, like as bodybuilders, when they don't have any glycogen in their muscles, okay? They don't have any carbs in their muscles. Uh, they feel like their muscles are going flatter. Honestly, as long as I take in enough salt, enough potassium, enough uh, water, and certainly enough fat, as long as I'm eating enough fat, my muscles get pumped. They feel pumped and they look pumped even without carbs, okay? So I've never had this problem personally, but that's one reason why people would want to have carbs. Um, and that's uh, the reason why, for instance, one of the most famous cyclic ketogenic diets ever was created. It was uh, Vince Gironda's steak and eggs diet. And, um, you know, he basically had his bodybuilders have a small meal of carbs every like, you know, three or four days. So it would be like a little bowl of rice, a little bowl of pasta, just enough to get some uh, glycogen in your muscles, get a little bit of a pump. And then that was it. Um, honestly, what most of the people back in the day did is what I did when I went on the uh, steak and eggs diet, which is you just go ahead and, um, you know, refeed once a week. Okay, so like uh, Rick Drayson, um, you know, the guy lived there, the guy was around back in the 70s, the guy trained in Gold's Gym with Arnold and everybody, and he, uh, he used to talk about that. He called it the junk day. You'd go ahead and have um, you know, a whole bunch of carbs every, uh, they did it Sunday. I prefer to do it Saturday because I'd have a carb hangover the next day. But basically, they would go out and they'd have a bunch of um, you know, pizza, cake, pie, pasta, whatever they wanted to have on um, one day of the week, okay? And like I said, that's the way that I did it too. Um, another example of a psychoketogenic diet is the anabolic diet, Mario de Pasquale's diet. Basically, it was uh, two days, one or two days, depending upon the person, they would carb up on the weekends. Now, I've said the reasons why I do not like this diet is because I don't think you need carbs. Okay, I do not, I get an excellent pump, my muscles look great, my muscles feel great, I get a pump in the gym if I have enough fat, so I don't need carbs for that reason. The one reason why somebody would need carbs, okay, is if they are doing extremely intense workouts. And I'm not saying you lift weights really heavy or really hard because everybody should be doing that. What I'm talking about is like if you do like a lot of sprints, a lot of intervals. Um, you know, my favorite example, because that's like the world I come from, is if you're some kind of a fighter and you're throwing like, you know, full speed, explosive, anaerobic, short burst, just a few hits with everything you've got, and then, you know, taking a break, hits with everything you've got, taking a break, just throwing combinations repeatedly as a boxer or a kickboxer, you know, hitting the pads or hitting the, um, you're hitting the, the heavy bag. Yeah, you are going to notice that, you know, you are, you don't have that snap, that pop, that explosiveness like you did when you were on carbs. Doesn't mean that I think that the cyclic ketogenic diet is good because like I said, I, you know, I've talked about this before. My problem is if you do a cyclic ketogenic diet, let's say Saturday I eat a bunch of shit, you know, yeah, I'm getting too much on Saturday, too many carbs on Saturday. Okay, so I got too much, which is not good. Then the problem with that is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'm having less and less and less. You know, so you get this roller coaster where you have too many carbs then you have less and less and less, and then you have like too few, too few, too few, and then you go ahead and you take in too many again. I don't like that. Another thing is, you know, dextrose powder, okay, when drunk, goes directly into your muscles, okay? It tends to fill your muscle glycogen. It tends not to fill your liver glycogen. Other kinds of rubbish, the kind of things that people usually eat on um, you know, psychoketogenic diets when they carb refeed, tends to fill up your liver. Okay, first of all, why do you want to have your liver glycogens filled? It's not like you use your liver to do a bench press, so who cares if your liver has glycogen or not? And second, actually you do kind of care if your liver has glycogen or not, because what else comes out of the liver? You know, it doesn't help you bench press, but it certainly does hurt because that's where ketones are made. So the last place that you want to have any glycogen is in your liver. 
like I said, fructose, sucrose, table sugar, fruit sugar, those kinds of things tend to go into your liver and as opposed to your muscles. So what I always do suggest is like 99% of the people in the world just go straight keto, okay? Just go straight keto um, and you'll be fine. Even if you do some kind of cardio, even if you do like some kind of a karate class or something, unless you're like a really elite pushing it, kicking your own ass athlete, and you do explosive, explosive, explosive stuff, you know, really short intervals, really anaerobic training, you're not going to have any problems without the carbs. And if you are one of those few, few, few people who do, then you follow something like my anaerobics diet, which basically gives you liquid carbs in the form of gluc um, dextrose mixed with water, okay? The glycogen goes straight into your muscles. You take a certain measured amount at a certain measured time, you know, just to go ahead and just give you the energy to kill your workout, if it's an intense workout, okay? And then the rest of the time, you know, your uh, nutrients are balanced, your macros, your calories all are balanced basically, you know, um, as it were some side of a, of a low carb diet, okay? So that is my solution. But there is still a third person, okay? There's like most people who are serious about training stay on low carbs all the time, no need for refeeds. The few people who kick their own ass with this high intensity anaerobic work go on a targeted ketogenic diet like my anaerobics diet. The people, okay, for whom the uh, cyclic ketogenic diet actually is good for is uh, the people who, um, and I don't want to sound like an asshole here, but the people who don't really take things too seriously, okay? So like, let, let's say a question I get a lot is, you know, can I drink on uh, the steak and eggs diet, okay? Can I, um, you know, can I just go ahead and, uh, you know, eat whatever on the, on the steak and eggs diet? Can I have a social life? Can I do a cheat meal on the uh, steak and eggs diet? And my answer to you in, in terms of this question is basically the same thing that Mario de Pasquale said about his um, anabolic diet, okay? What he said was basically, wanna have a couple beers? Fine, do that on your, you know, on your cheat day. You wanna go to a birthday party? Make sure that your, ref your cheat, refeed, junk day, whatever you wanna call it, make sure that you know, that birthday party, that, that coffee you know, dinner, that, that you know, cocktail party, whatever, is on the day that you do your refeed. So there's no problem with you having a beer or two as long as it's on your refeed day. So what this does is this allows average people, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with average people. I mean, just people for whom they, are, they don't want to really kill themselves in the gym. They don't have extremely high standards for themselves, but they just want to get in better shape. They want to be more healthy. They want to lose weight. All you do is you go on a cyclic ketogenic diet, okay? You just go ahead and you do like steak and eggs, okay? That basically means you eat two meals a day, meat, any kind of meat, eggs, fry everything in butter, okay? You just eat two meals a day, you know, breakfast and lunch, breakfast and dinner. I usually eat breakfast and dinner. And that's it, as much or as little as you feel like, okay, to satisfy your hunger in that one sitting. And, um, you know, like I said, that's what you do five, yeah, six days a week. The seventh day of the week, you drop down your fat, okay, and you refeed on carbohydrates. Now, like I said, there are a million reasons why this is a great diet, but this is not going to get you to the elite level, okay? But this is still an excellent, excellent, excellent diet for like most people out there. So if you're one of those people who are trying to have some kind of a social life, some kind of a family life, you're still trying to get in pretty good shape. You want to lose fat, you want to you know, build muscle, whatever. You want to uh, increase your testosterone by taking in more fat. That's a great diet. Okay, but like I said, this third group of people, okay, the people who are not really, really, really serious, you know, really, really, really high standards about their performance or about their appearance or about, you know, whatever, that just want to get in pretty good shape, you know, appearance-wise, performance-wise, strength-wise, you know, health-wise, then the cyclo-ketogenic diet like the, um, you know, like, like, like the steak and eggs diet is just a great diet, okay? But like I said, if you want a little bit more, okay, if you are looking to get like, to be really healthy, to get really lean, to get really strong, then I suggest you check out my uh, low carb cutting and bulking diets. Uh, you know, spoiler alert, I do not have um, cheat days on any of my low carb cutting or bulking diets, okay? I do not have uncontrolled rubbish days where you eat crap all day. When you're on the pure protein diet, there are there is a place for a fat refeed Okay, uh, you know, and there will be fat cycling, but there is no such thing as just eat crap all day or just eat crap, you know, whenever. 
So like I said, if you're uh, really serious about this and you want to get in really good shape, you know, you want to really get strong this year, you want to get really muscular this year, or if you want to get really lean this year, the diets that you find in uh, low carb cutting and bulking will do either, okay, we'll do both. Uh, and uh, like I said, just go ahead and check out uh, the link in the description if you're watching this on Instagram, Low Carb Cutting and Bulking. If you're watching this on YouTube, it is uh, right below the video. And if you are one of that 1% of people that really kicks your, you really kick your own ass in the gym and you really, really do like a lot of repeated anaerobic, uh, you know, high intensity, short interval work with everything you've got, then you're probably going to have to check out a targeted ketogenic diet like my anaerobics diet, which is also linked are found in the same places um, because like I said that is far superior for someone who's really serious about their performance appearance and health a targeted ketogenic diet has a lot more benefits and it's much 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 more superior than a uh, psycho ketogenic diet all right guys see you in the next video